Welcome back. Today, as you join me, I'm at Pullover Scar, and it's just right there. I've got my gear on back. Let's roll the titles. Well, here I am. Well, I've made it to the lighthouse. The tide is out at the moment, but it is coming in, and it's coming in thick and fast too. Uh, let me spin you around. There's the lighthouse. Way. Um, depending on what your social distance is like, I've just been about 20 metres away. Um, but unlike this one lady this morning when I was out shopping, she must have been about two foot behind somebody. Maybe didn't turn around in the smack, I didn't know. Um, but yeah, here I am. Um, let me show you around. Let me show you. The rocks here, that's where I've just been and took a shot. Um, in fact, two couple really. Um, I just wanted to get, because of the water now has completely covered the rocks what I, I was shooting um, just as a leading line really um, just how important the building is to, to shoot um, I've done a couple of um, horizontal and verticals um, I'm not sure what they're like um, I had me tens I had me um, I have my 10 stop filter on. Um, I think it about 25, 30 seconds. I wanted to smooth the water out, but just get the light out of how important it is. We've just with being so close at the moment. Um, yeah, like I said, high tide, well, tide's coming in. High tide's in about three to four hours, I believe. Um, I haven't done any homework on this. I did have a look last night, because I was supposed to come last night, but. I just got comfortable and I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest with you. Um, sunset is approximately over there somewhere, round about here. But as you can see, it's cloudy as, any as anything at the moment. So I don't think I'm actually going to get a sunset. But I might wait around and get one. Um, yeah, four or five hours. I could just nip off and get some more food from somewhere. I've got some food anyway. But yeah, it's coming thick and fast here. Anyway, I get a couple more shots, so I'm back in a second. Here I am back again, I've uh, got another shot in the, well, not in the bag yet, but it's so doing it now. That's what I've got there. Uh, has it come up? Oh there. Um, yeah, it's like a bag in the middle. Uh, there's a rock in the water there. I've got that as a foreground interest. Um, not sure it's come out yet. Um, I think that was it, 30 seconds long with the 10 top filter on again. Um, yeah, it's sat bang in the middle. How I wanted it. Brilliant. Well, I think I'm going to get wet. I've no wellies. Took out the car for whatever reason while the car's been off the road. Um, but yeah, we've got walking boots. Luckily, I've got my trainers in the car. I've got um, spare, clo spare clothing just in case. I'm just trying to rush about now so I can get everything together. So I've got a time lapse running as well. Um, yeah, it's been a good day, it really has. Yeah, just trying to get everything back together. Um, the tide's coming really quick, like I said before. So I can't see the sunset coming off. I really can't. I'll have a look at my phone in a bit. Hang on a bit though. There's blue over the Maybe it's gonna come off, maybe not. Find out in a bit. Well, a bit of an update on the weather. I don't know if you can see over there. The sun is trying to peek through. Um, I've just had a look on the weather app. Um, the clouds are gonna disappear a bit. A bit of a more high cloud, I think there's about 60% high cloud. 
Um, high tide is 8.39, which is about four hours away, four and a half hours away. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. I'll have taken me a few more shots and then see what I come up with. Well, I've come for a different composition now. I've moved a bit further to the right. Um, I wanted to get the, the edge of the coast. I mean, just, I didn't see. I wanted to get that as a leading line, but it's just, it's just not working. It's taking you up to the lighthouse, but then it's just taking you off out of the frame. So it's, that didn't work. But I wanted to get the lighthouse, the, the, the light sky behind. So I've cropped in, um, about 105 because I'm using the 18105 and I think there's a bit of the rocks the stones on the edge so I'll probably just crop that in post with the 10 sock filter on and just leave it at that but I don't know what it is with this camera at the moment probably because I've left it for nearly two months uh, I've not used it the battery I think died I think while I was left in there but all the images on the screen seem a bit dark so I'm actually liking what I'm seeing because I think I'm going to end up with a few black and whites here. I really do. I'm really loving the back of the screen at the moment. So let's have a look at those and we'll see where we go on. Well, I'm back out again. I've just been to the car, get a bit of food and drink. I was absolutely starving. First thing I've eaten that today. Um, wasn't really in the mood earlier. But I did notice, well, there's not, the clouds don't go in at all, but there has one bit of cloud cleared. Let me have a look, see if we can uh, that band of cloud there. Just a bit of an orangey glow. Um, and it's, it just caught my eye. I thought I'd better go and get that. Um, that's why I've just got off the back of the camera. Uh, long exposure, um, F11, 30 seconds, ISO 100. Um, yeah, the 10 top filter. It's looking really good. That, it's that band of colour. It's awesome. Right, go and get another shot. been got a few more shots um, with channels of the weaving coming in and out the water flowing in um, I quite like those um, they're a bit different um, the lighthouse is in the distance but you can actually still see it but I've concentrated more on the channels of the of the leading line of the water going well coming in but leading out <laughs> leading out to the lighthouse um, the sunset situation, I think it's highly unlikely. Uh, the way that I'm stood at the moment is it's directly in front of it. If I turn, spin you around, where's the lighthouse? <laughs> the lighthouse is there. It's supposed to be directly behind me, the sunset. That's what my phone's saying. But as you can see, the only bit of light we've got is over the. Um, they might come through, but. To be honest with you, I very much doubt it because it is thick cloud that. Um, but I will still hang around. Um, I'll put these shots up what I've just took and I'll see you later. I'll just set up for another composition of the lighthouse again. Um, straight down really, um, with the clothes the way they are, um, I think it was F8, 30 seconds, 10 stop filter, um, as you can see I'm still on the beach, there we go, um, that's the tide there, it's coming in, well it's not actually, it's in, this is now high tide, uh, I believe it's a 4 metre tide, that's what the tide tables are saying. Um, sunset is half an hour away. The clouds are weather looking. It's not going to happen. 
but you never know, it might happen. Um, as you can see, that's the lighthouse there. And it's sunset, it's supposed to be about here. In about 30 minutes or so. Um, whether it's going to happen, I hope it does. I really hope it does. Because I've been here a really long time. I think I've been here about five hours. An hour to get here, an hour to get home. It's been a long day so far. But, let's hope I'm going to get it. I'll catch you in a minute. Well, as you might have gathered by the lack of orange glow on my face, it didn't happen. Um, well, not yet anyway. It's three minutes, give or take, to sunset. And it's just never going to happen. Not today anyway. So let me just move out of the way of my bag for a fall. Um, as you can see, nothing. Not even a sniff of orange. But... You can't win a while, can you? <sighs> Wish you could though, really do. Um, it's been a good day. Windy, not massively windy, but enough to put my coat on anyway. Yeah, but at least I've had a go, I've got out, I've had a try, got a bit of fresh air, a bit of sea air. I'll be asleep by the time I get home. But yeah. It